Hello, hello, and welcome back. Now, do you remember at the end of last month, I made that video on that small little cheap Chinese valve amplifier that I got off eBay? I think we all agreed that it did look rather attractive. But Neil Robinson commented on the video and said, you know, are the valves actually doing anything? Do they really work? Or are they just making pretty lights? And he's not the only one, because when you look around at other reviews for these type of amplifiers, people come up with the same question. Can these valves work on just six volts of DC supply? And Neil suggested that I do a teardown to have a look at the circuitry to see if the tubes were really connected. So that's what we're gonna to do today. But before I take the amplifier apart, I can confirm that it is possible that you can get battery powered tubes. This is a German radio kit that I built a few years ago. And as you can see here, just through the little window, it does have a battery powered tube. And this radio runs on four AA batteries, six volts. And that's working away quite well. So yeah, it is possible to buy these tubes, whether or not that uh, the Japanese can produce an amplifier for much less than this kit and have them working is another thing. So I think what we could do is do a basic test here. So at the moment, I'm just playing an audio book which is, uh, by the way, The Martian, very good audio book and quite a good film. So as you can hear, as you'd expect, yep, coming out quite nicely. So I think the next stage is now to re remove the tubes and then try the experiment again. And if the sound obviously comes out without the tubes connected, then the tubes are there just for show. But if the unit doesn't produce any sound, well, yeah, that's, that's not entirely conclusive, is it? Because it could just be a clever little jumper wire or something included, you know, in the tubes themselves. So let's give that a go. So what I'm going to do now, I've got the phone running. I'm just about to uh, switch on the amp and uh, we'll see if anything comes out of the speaker. So there you go. That's on and absolutely nothing. So it, it does appear that the tubes in some way actually make the amplifier work whether they're doing any amplification well that's going to be another thing so i think right it's now time that uh, i'm going to tear this little amplifier down and then we can have a look at the circuit board so as that aussie bloke says we're in like flynn and here it is here's the board now i am no expert at all you know i'm i'm just nothing so i'm going to leave this up to you guys to maybe pause the video have a closer look but here's the, you know it does look to me like these sockets are connected that all the pins are certainly soldered um you know it's all surface mount technology um a couple of ic chips here as i say i'll try and get a cl closer zoom in on one of these chips now so once you, you know you could pause the video maybe and check out a number to see if you can recognize the chip but you know first glance yeah all of the connections do seem to be soldered on the actual valve holders now, I hope that Simon's watching because in the absence of Mark, Simon, I'm nominating you as our valve champion here because you build these valve amps. So, Simon, you know, what do you think? Having a look at this, you know, do you think these valves are doing anything or do you think they're just connected for sort of show? I mean, looking at some of the components on the front of the board, um, you can see that the voltage, you know, starts off at 6. And it has been ramped up to 16 volts on these little components. So, yeah, you know, I think it is possible to what degree these valves are amplifying well i don't know i'll leave it up to you guys in the comments you know leave a comment let's have a little debate about this and uh maybe we can sort of make a decision but anyway there you go i took it apart for you we've had a look and uh whether we're any closer to actually really establishing whether this is at this valve is working as a valve amp or not i don't know so that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed a look inside this little Chinese valve amp. Still looks quite pretty. I still think it's quite good for the money, to be honest. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot for the money, are you, what they ask? Anyway, as always, just like to say cheers. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.